So we have two obstacles that don't allow us to deliver insulin, insulin orally. The one obstacle is the degradation, and the second problem is the size. So how do we overcome that? What we do is we take a soft gel capsule. Actually, if you want to, let's see if we can show it. Take a soft gel capsule that looks like that. This is the insulin pill. And what we do inside the capsule, we put a protease inhibitor that we developed that basically protects from the protease that causes the degradation. We also put an enhancer in it. We coat it with enteric coating, which is pH sensitive coating. So the end result is that when the patient swallows the pill, the, the capsule transport through the body safely and then when it moves from the stomach into the intestine then because of the pH change the coating dissolves and then we have an enhancer that enables the delivery through the gut wall into the portal vein. Our main focus is type 2 to use this oral insulin not as a replacement to the injection. What we want to do, the life of a type 2, and the disease life of a type 2 starts with exercise, diet, and then oral agents, and only at the end it becomes like a type 1 when they become insulin dependent patients. What we want to do, we want to use this insulin capsule and give the insulin as an earlier treatment, not to wait until the point that they become insulin dependent, but to give it to them earlier on by giving it and taking advantage of the fact that it's a portal delivery, meaning that the insulin goes into the liver first. And the liver is the organ that regulates the secretion of the insulin into the circulation. What we're able to do is we're able to mimic the physiological way that the body works in keeping those type two at a much healthier and more balanced level of their diabetes. Type one, get type ones get the insulin as an injection to mainly help to deal with the need of insulin in the circulation but the type ones are also deprived from insulin that needs to be in the liver so what we want to do is we want to introduce this oral insulin to type ones as a way to deliver insulin that is targeted at the liver so we had a very interesting design of the type one trial when we took Type 1 that have what we call brittle diabetes, right? Type 1 that they have um, uncontrollable diabetes. And we wanted to show that by giving them the oral insulin because of the delivery system, we can actually lower the events of hypo that they get due to this oral insulin. So we give them the oral insulin as an add-on to whatever it is they take, the injection, the pump, whatever it is, they took the oral insulin three times a day, and I want to tell you that the results were unbelievable. But I would approach it differently. I would say, do not compare between the two. They both carry the same name insulin, but this is one type of a drug, and that's another type of a drug. And when we think about the oral insulin, we shouldn't think of it as a substitute to the injection because we give it earlier on. And earlier on, we don't have to be as exact with the exact amounts that we give it on because you have to remember, when you give the injection, it right away goes into the circulation. When we give it orally, it may take two to two and a half hours until it actually shows up in the circulation because it goes through the portal vein and because it's enteric coated. They take one, one pill a day and this type to trial. One, one pill a day and this is the exact pill and that should be sufficient enough. This is very exciting times for us. We're now gearing towards a phase two trial on the oral insulin in the United States under the FDA. So by the end of the year, our plan is to submit the IND to the FDA for a phase two trial on 150 type two patients that will entirely take place here in the United States of America. Uh, I think that at the end of the day, Oramed is not going to take the product all the way through into the market, but rather have a partner that will help us take it through into the, into the market. And therefore, we are currently in different discussions with potential partners.
say that it's probably an historical milestone in the development of oral insulin because to the best of my knowledge, there's one company that have uh, ran a phase two on oral insulin in the United States under the FDA, which was not successful. And therefore, I think this is now the second attempt to, to get to it. But it's a few years later with much more experience. And we're looking forward to hopefully having good results and being able to be successful on this phase two trial with them.